NearlyDanish.com. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's get ready to run ball. Five questions as usual. We're going to run through this. I expect you guys to do really well in this as well. Right, it's from the 1800s, 1849 to be precise. This is one of the most frequently asked questions, so you must know the answer to this. As you can see, it's relevant for both tests. Also, one of the most frequently asked questions. Almost perfect score. Two people got this wrong. You must know the answer to this question. Denmark joined the United Nations in 1945, right after World War II. You've seen this before if you've been practicing. Right, so it's the employees that choose the union representative at work. Top five have been reshuffled. Elil is the highest climber up 19 places. Wow. wow. Next one. What's the legal age in Denmark? is the legal age in Denmark, not 15. 15 is the age where you start um, when you start getting tried as an adult, okay? If you commit a crime. Okay, so DI, Octopus, Majestic, Hair, 73, Tosia, and Amin. Three, 36, up six places. Great job. Next one. We talked about this a whole bunch of times. Go from left to right. From left to right. So if this is Yulan and this is Fune, you've got Lila Belt here. This is Fune and this is Shilan, you've got Stall Belt here. And if you imagine that there's a fourth block here, and that's Sweden, you've got Urson be between Shilan and Sweden. And across them, you've got the bridges Lila Belt Pawn, Stall Belt Pawn, and Orson's Pawn. All right, next one. So the key to passing Melbourne Skips Pawn is to practice all the tests because Melbourne Skips Pawn is, a, is an FAQ test. Okay, so if you practice with all the previous tests, you're going to score at least 20 out of 25. Read the book and you're probably going to get 100%. All right. You've seen this before. It isn't free to be a member of a file for any. You have to pay a membership fee every month. Next one. Static top five. Static top five. Five players just hit an answer streak of five. Excellent. Next one. All 
Oh, wow. Perfect score. Well done, guys. Perfect score. Next one. It is free to go to the doctor. You don't have to pay anything. At least not in Denmark. We've got a static top five. Elena has the highest answer streak of eight. That's a perfect score. Perfect score. And she's on fire. She's on fire. Yes, you can. It is possible to create a training even if you're not a Danish citizen. All right, so Majestic Hair has a perfect score and he's on fire. Oh my! He's on fire! Perfect score. We talked about this a bunch of times. So it's the courts that have the right to judge, the power to judge. So power is split three ways with the government, the parliament, and the courts. All right, next one. You've seen this before a bunch of times. Right. Okay, perfect score again. Seven players have reached an answer streak of eight. Perfect score. Next one, almost halfway through. You know the answer to this as well. Right, it's not Nova Nordisk and it's not Velux, it's Vestas wakes, makes wind turbines. It's also a frequently asked question. It's a um, bit of a reshuffle in the top five. Elena is back again with an answer streak of three. She's on fire. You win. Next one. Nearly all kids between the age of three and five go to daycare centers. Some people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Fix it. It will show up on your profile. Top five reshuffle Borgia now up at number three. Octopus at number four. Amin fell to number five. Bogdan is making a comeback with three in a row. Oh my! He's on fire! 
next one. It's lower. So actually, the parliamentary elections has the highest voter turnout. Second highest voter turnout is communal and regional, and the lowest voter turnout is the European Parliament elections. All right, and me moving back up again. Next one. Seen this before if you've been practicing. The answer is no. So to get voted into parliament, you have to be a member of a party. When you do get voted in, you can choose to leave your party and not join any other party and just be independent. Um, and that's what this question is about, is asking, should uh, members of parliament be members of a political party? And the answer is no. Next one, octopus taking over a mean spot again. Fabricio is back in the game with three in a row. Oh my, he's on fire! We've got 10 questions to go. You know this. All right, from the 1500-1536 to be exact, this is an FAQ, as is every question in this test. Static top five. Who is making a comeback with three in a row? Great job. Next one. All right, so it's your criminal record. Next one. Static top five again. Amin has a streak with 17 correct answers in a row. Perfect score. Next one. years not 13 faq you must know the answer to this question now you know what you don't know Right, almost perfect score. It's 12, not 10. Static top five again. Lel is back with an answer streak of three. Great job. You got six questions to go. Uh oh. Eighteen oh five to eighteen seventy five. He didn't make it out of the eighteen hundreds. All right, five people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Static top five. Nothing is happening in this top five, man. But it's super competitive. Anyone makes a mistake here, they're gonna get kicked all the way out to number ten or something. 
Sama is the highest climber up three places. Excellent. Five questions to go. Landsrat. So from Bulat, you appeal to Landsrat. From Landsrat, you appeal to Hoesrat, and there are no appeals after Hoesrat. So the Hoesrat's decision is final. All right, someone made a mistake, got kicked out. Majestic hair holding number one, Roger number two, DI at three, Amin at four, and Raja at five. Three players hit an answer streak of 18. Great job. You know the answer to this. Damn, someone got this wrong? Anyway, get it right the next time. Public schools are free here in Denmark. Static top five. Richard has a streak with 22 correct answers in a row. Perfect score. Oh my! He's on fire! Three questions to go. Nineteen forty, okay. For the eight people who got this wrong, it's nineteen forty. I think it's the fifth of April, nineteen forty. Oh man, Borgia. Now at number one, majestic hair. Two di three. I mean four. Raja five. Um, four players reached an answer streak of seven. Great job. Few questions to go. So Borgia hit the number one spot at the last minute. 9th of April, not 4th of April. Sorry, not 5th of April. 9th of April, 1940. Sonia, thanks for that. We've talked about this a whole bunch of times. Hopefully you guys get this right. All right, so 2011, the first female prime minister was elected in Denmark, and her name is Helle Thorning Schmidt. She was a member of the Social Democratic Party. 10 people got this wrong. This is a frequently asked question. It's relevant for both tests. So please get it right the next time. You will see it when you're practicing and you will see this error on your profile. So fix that. Next one. Okay, so this, we shuffle the top five at the last minute. So at the moment we have Borgia, Di, Amin, Yenzaman, and Dolo in the top five. Octopus is back in the game with three in a row. Excellent. Last question. Uh oh. Hence. 11 people got this wrong. Let's have a look at that podium. Amin. Wow. He came through at the last minute. DI. Is it Borgia? Okay, it is Borgia. One, two, three. Yenzeman and Ale. Four and five. NearlyDanish.com.